Mug Mac, this is the Amateur Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Desolation Suicidal. I'm excited, I'm excited because uh, there's a new snapshot out in Minecraft and it looks awesome and I can't wait until 1.17 comes out because there's some really, really cool stuff coming out. But we're not going to talk about Minecraft all day today because you know what? Uh, there's probably an audio delay actually in this video um, and probably the next one uh, just because I didn't restart my computer and I haven't in a couple of days but it's okay, it's okay. That's okay. You aren't here for the audio. You don't need the the bullets to line up with the sound, right? It's not. It's not important. I mean, it is. It is important. I just. Uh, I don't want to restart my computer right now. You know. I want to play. Uh, I don't know. I want. I want to play um like uh, an aim training game. You know. I don't think I really need it. I think what I need is is more just like in game practice for like head tracking and stuff. And getting used to how the Zeds move and, and all that, but uh, I want to try it anyway to see how good I am to get a, a measure of my own personal skill, you know? Because I think I'm pretty good at, uh, at clicking on heads, you know? I think I'm pretty dang good at it. I think I talk about it all the time. I'm a little bit arrogant, perhaps. I, I think I'm I think I'm pretty pretty modest, really. <laughs> Which is a, a weird thing to say, right? But I think it's true, right? I think it's true. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love the bashes. It's a weird thing to say that you're modest, because it's uh, it's kind of like a compliment that kind of goes against the whole modest sort of uh, thing, right? But I think I think it's true. I think it's true. I haven't played Oxygen Not Included. I've been talking about it for a few days. I think I am going to download it and play it today because uh, I just I really want to. I just I'm getting so distracted with reading Azerinth Healer and with uh, with like thinking about how I'd write my own um like novel fiction thingy, you know. Um, and I'm just I'm not playing it, but I want to. I want to play Oxygen Not Included because it's a fun game, you know. I haven't been playing any Minecrafts. <laughs> kind of forcing myself not to play it, even though I want to, um, just because, um, like, I, I can't get too many episodes recorded before the, the content starts coming out, right? It's gonna be a huge backlog, it's no good. It's no good. Wow, I just completely whipped that, eh? Just totally whipped that. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? I think I, I, think I saw the shadow fall down from the top. Actually, I think I think I, I, I think you might be able to go back and and vaguely see the the shadow kind of come down from from the somewhere. I didn't think they could fall down there, but maybe on the uh, where are you? Maybe on the uh, like the side thing. There's like one of these things right by the entrance there. I don't know. Who knows, man? Hate these dudes. Hate these dudes. I don't even like like yeah yeah you get the. Electro blast thing from the Edars. I don't even like that. Okay, <laughs> it's annoying more than anything else. Cause I just uh, I'm used to like how they're gonna move without it, and then they get shocked, and then they start dodging me, and I waste my bullets, and it costs me money, and then I can't afford to get all my upgrades by the end of the game. Yeah, it's a problem. They just, they, it, like, from start to finish, they're just bad, you know? Hey, buddy. I'm down here. I'm down here. I'm down here. I'm down here. I think I'm going to install it, play it later today or tomorrow, maybe. I'm not giving myself a weekend off anymore. Um, like, I'm not really recording all that much, so I haven't been planning for a weekend. I'm, I'm planning actually, it's Thursday today, I'm recording two episodes, I'm recording two episodes tomorrow, I'm recording two episodes Saturday, recording two episodes Sunday. I don't uh, I don't intend to take any time off this weekend just because it's, it's very easy with uh, how many videos I'm actually recording like at all right now, which is, is not much. Um, I say we just have 400 episodes as well, we had to, uh, this is episode 401 I believe. That's incredible, right? Assuming I haven't miscounted somewhere, which is likely, which is likely. Um, but like this is episode 401, 
It's incredible. 400 episodes of uh, Killing Floor 2, you know? Who'd have who'd thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? I mean, I'd have thunk it, but I never, like, really would have thought that it would happen until, like, I don't know. Would have been around, like, episode uh, 40, 50-ish, when I, I started to really feel confident in it, you know? Episode 100, even, when I really, like, definitely was like, yeah, no, this is sticking, but, like, you know. 400 episodes, man! So many episodes. That's so many episodes. Used to be uh, shorter too. They used to be shorter. I'm actually, I've actually, you know, we used to only do one game back in the day, back in, uh, you know, the olden times of uh, of Killing Floor 2 content. It was, uh, it was only one match, one singular, you know, 10 minutes was the goal. Now you get these 20, 30 minute episodes of KF2 of me rambling about cannabis. Oh yeah, by the way. Um, hello. Uh, my cannabis episode that I talked about, my, uh, my cannabis experiences, got three likes and a bunch of views and everybody seemed pretty positive about it. Um, so I guess there isn't too much of a stigma around it, but it also could have been that I, I had given people that warning that, that made them kind of respect the topic a little bit more rather than it kind of being thrust upon them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the way I handled it in my previous cannabis episode was and maybe the topics that I talked about specifically were, were more sensitive. I don't know, but uh, I kind of expected this episode to go more poorly and maybe it does some cool it's actually stuff. one of my best performing Should videos on the channel. I, th I think it, uh, it goes to show that as long as you're, you're being respectful and, and handling things pretty well, I think it, it, you can talk about pretty much whatever you want and uh, people are generally speaking going to be pretty okay with it, right? As long as you're not being antagonistic or whatever, I think I think it's generally pretty okay. Now, you know, I only got one dislike. I wasn't like beating myself up about it. You know, on the on the first cannabis themed episode we had, I only had one dislike, and I was kind of like, "Huh, that's neat." <laughs> you know, talk about cannabis got a dislike. Kind of uh, expected, I guess, but uh, you know, it's only one dislike. It's not the end of the world, right? Like, it's not. I'm not really upset about it um, I'm gonna be getting so many dislikes I'm gonna be getting more dislikes per video than I have like total likes eventually you know is, is the plan right can't really can't really beat myself up over one little dislike here and there and I don't it doesn't bother me at all I really found it interesting I really found it interesting I did talk to my uh, my old D&D &D group as well about uh, Maybe getting back together with some kind of online option, roll 20 or tabletop simulator or something like that. One person has responded positively. Um, I didn't, like, you know, mention them or anything like that. I didn't ping them, you know, but uh, one person has responded thus far. I might ping them because nobody's really responding and, you know, we don't normally talk in that Discord anymore, so people might just not be uh, checking it or whatever. I might uh, ping them. Uh, this weekend sometime maybe and, and just re-ask to to because i want to play okay i want to play i want to play with them specifically ideally right like if, if they if they can't make it work they have time um they don't have the time or whatever that's that's one thing but i would love if uh if i could because they were a great group to have i really loved them but um you know we, we ended up uh kind of falling out with uh the group back early this year because of uh, some things that were definitely going to be lasting through to now but so it, it's a little bit presumptuous to assume that we should be able to make it but I also like we don't talk anymore right I don't know how COVID has affected them and how all the the current events of 2020 have kind of affected how they uh, can't shoot that eh? how the current events have kind of affected how they're going to be um, like busy and stuff and a lot of people are finding themselves with a lot more time. A lot of people are finding themselves with a lot less time. Um, you know, you can kind of go either way, right? So, this cat's back in the game. I just, uh, I'd love, I'd love the opportunity to be able to. We are gonna have like, what does that end up being like? Barely any money left over after we uh, upgrade everything here, right? No, because I thought I still had to upgrade this, and I was like, wow, we're gonna have like. Not enough money to get ammo, but no, no. I the deagle was already upgraded to to tier two. I was like, we're gonna have to pay fifteen hundred for the deagle, fifteen hundred for the Glock, 
and then 750 to get the Glock at all. That puts us to like 3750, and we had like 3789 or something like that. <laughs> like, I was a little bit concerned, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit concerned. I don't really like fighting him down here so much. I don't really like fighting him so much like anywhere, except for places where he just gets destroyed very easily. Which thankfully is right here, apparently. So, never mind, I do like fighting him here. Yeah, talk to them about getting it done. I want to, you know. Because I want to. Uh, no, tap button. Sorry. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> I want to play D&D &D again. You know, I want to play as a player. I've got a. Uh, I've got a. I just, there, there's this one class. This one's not, not class, but like. Sort of. Uh, I can't think of the word. There's the word for it. Archetype. That I, I really just have never been able to play in D&D. &D. Um, I've tried to a couple of times, and every time I make the character that does this kind of, like, combat, uh, like, we end up ending the campaign for, for some reason or another, or I die, or, you know, something happens, and I'm like, I just, I want to play as this archetype. And uh, what it is, is um, sort of like a... Like an arcane fighter kind of thing. Not an Eldritch Knight. Because an Eldritch Knight is a like fighter that also has a little bit of magic, you know? Um, so they don't get... Like magic isn't their focal point, right? Like magic isn't what they do. It's just kind of like... They got some fighting stuff. And then like uh, on top of that, they got a little bit of magic to kind of throw into the mix as well. Um... And uh, that's not really what I want. Same with, like, um, the Arcane Archer. Not really kind of what I'm looking for. Um, arcane Trickster is, is kind of close-ish. But, but, again, not really what I'm looking for. I really want just, like, a Sorcerer who runs into battle with a, a, a blade. Like, Warlocks. Like, a Blade Warlock kind of thing, you know? But not a Warlock because, again, it kind of has the issue where... The magic isn't the focal point of the of the character, so you kind of, in order to do it, you kind of have to like get some multi-classing going on, and end up going with like a sorcerer uh, and a fighter, or even a sorcerer warlock hybrid kind of thing, or a wizard or something, cleric even. Um, and uh, so I've I've made a few of them, you know, I've made. Um, I made a sorcerer fighter, like a phoenix sorcerer fighter. I've made, uh, I have made an arcane trickster with a bit of a fighter kind of thing, and I was going to plan on taking it into some more magical kind of stuff as well. And, like, just, just a lot of different characters that I've had where I, uh, they just ended, ended up getting far enough for me to be able to really, like, build them into what I wanted, or, um... You know, the, I, I started it up and I'm like, oh, this is going to be so sick. I still want to role play this and like play this. And then the campaign ends like two sessions later or whatever, just because, you know, people end up uh, not having the time to DM or somebody can't like continue playing or whatever, you know, whatever. Right. Um, so I've, I've had uh, a lot of characters that just don't end up making it out. And if I play um, with the with this old group of mine again. I will definitely be playing one of those archetypes because I just, I've never been able to do it. It's, uh, and I really, really want to. And I've found, like, the perfect thing for it. So there's a, a couple of, like, um, uh, like, classes that are pretty good for that. Like, there's the Cleric of the War Domain, I believe, which is pretty like focused on beating your enemies down with weapons but also being like kind of like a healer kind of thing which is, is pretty cool i like that i like running into battle and being able to just kind of like heal yourself and uh, repair yourself and have all this kind of stuff going on there's uh i think there's a war like a wizard of the of like war or something like that sorcerer of war or something i don't know some something, something like that sorcerer of the war god or something like that i don't remember exactly but um so, some, something along that line. Um, so they're they're kind of a similar thing. Magic, but then with a focus of kind of running in and like a side focus. You know, I want um, 
I want the main focus to be weapons. Or I want the main focus to be magic. You know, I want them to be a magical class. A magical person. But um, they're just like, yeah. But I'm not afraid to get, you know, up, up dirt, dirt, get, get dirty with it. And, and run up and start, you know, cutting people up myself either, right? There aren't too many spells that kind of accommodate that. Um, most spells tend to not be... I want, I want something that gives me, like weaponry buffs and stuff you know I want uh, but most most stuff doesn't really do that so um, you kind of have to like improvise or, or run some homebrew stuff if your DM's okay with it but um, yeah it was uh, that's that's definitely what I'm gonna be running for just because I never played it and I really want to I really want to play that kind of archetype you know that's uh, that fighter mage you know just kind of like, uh, you know, you, you watch, uh, like, I don't know, in, in pretty much any anime or TV show or cartoon or whatever with uh, with magic, you're always going to have that one person who's like, yeah, I use magic. And then they run around, they're punching people, they're like, what are you using the magic for? And they're like, oh, I don't know, it makes my fist hurt more. <laughs> you know, that's that's what I want, right? Like, that's, that's what I want. And then uh, every now and then they end up using some flashy magic as well, and you're like, yeah. But what D&D gives you is, is mostly just uh, you either get the flashy magic or you get the fists. You don't really get both of them, so you kind of have to build it yourself and you're not really going to be that good. And it's kind of on your DM to make it fun for you still. Uh, but, you know, that, that's kind of the DM's purpose every time. So I'll, I'll put that on them. My, my players put that, that on me as well, you know? it's it's that's, that's what the DM's job is, is to make sure that your characters are happy, your players are having fun, right? Even if they take a stupid class, you want to make sure that they feel powerful, at least. That's that's your job. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's 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 definitely um, one thing that I've, I've definitely been wanting to do. There's that, and I've always wanted to play... I've never played just, like, a pure magic class in D&D, either. Um... <laughs> I've never played just uh, just like a wizard or a sorcerer or, or something, you know, just just like pure magic. And uh, I've kind of been wanting to do that as well. I don't know. Like I, I make characters all the time, right? Like I make I make way more characters than I'll ever be able to play. As long as it ain't it's cold, a problem. Um, but uh, I've wanted to play sort of like uh, not like like you're kind of like just um, you know above the kind of uh, wizard kind of dude, you know. Where uh, I'm kind of, I always believe that I'm above the common people because I have my magic and it makes me better than everybody else, you know? And then, uh, yeah, we want to go down. Oh, that would have been sick if it worked, though. Um, I've always wanted to play that. You know, when you're in combat or whatever, it's just kind of like... A little bit distracted because you just you don't feel like they're really important not really distracted to the point where it affects the combat because that's not fun for your fellow players but um you know getting into the role-playing kind of thing of it right um and when you're like uh kind of the, the arrogant noble uh wizard right where you're just, you're just you're just above the the common citizens i've wanted to play that as well for a while um, I've also wanted to play the, uh, again, I make a lot of characters and a lot of backstories and stuff. It's, it's a hobby of mine. Um, I wanted to play a character where, uh, same thing, same kind of thing, you know, magic. Magic is the focus. Um, but rather than being, like, above the common citizens, I want it to be kind of like a, a Robin Hood kind of thing. Where, uh, not, not really Robin Hood, I guess, but... Kind of like, it'd be like chaotic neutral. Um, and uh, she just kind of do whatever the heck she wants and not really care about anybody else. But not really want to harm people either, you know? Just kind of like living her life, doing whatever the heck she wants, whenever she wants. If people get in the way, then, you know, she'll try and not kill them. But if she has to kill them, then like, oh well, <laughs> you die, I guess. And uh, she'll be pretty indifferent about it, but uh, just just kind of um, for the sake of not annoying people, want to put on sort of a virtuous attitude. But it doesn't really tend to 
to work out so well. That's another character I've been wanting to make. Or play, rather. I haven't made. Um, her fake virtuousness would definitely get her in trouble at times. Um, I also like the... Uh, I want to play a druid at one point, too. I've never played a druid. I don't want to play the typical stoner druid, you know, because that's, you know, try and be original at least, right? Um, stoner druids, nobody likes them. You're just annoying. Um, I've played with stoner druids, and if you're if you're one of my players who have watched me, and if you you know you've played with me and you've been the stoner druid in the party, I'm gonna tell you, I think you were annoying. <laughs> it's it's is totally unoriginal. Um, sorry, but like, it's nothing. It's nothing personnel, kid. Okay. <laughs> um, Stoner Druid's just uh, at least be original, you know, maybe give it some other kind of personality trait or something, right? I don't want to play the typical Stoner Druid, but I do want to play Druid. I'd like to play the, um, you know, Hippie Druids? <laughs> By all means. But if you're, like, bringing in Stoner stuff into it, it's just kind of like, eh. Eh. I'm fine with the Hippie Druid. You know, you're kind of out there, you just love everybody and just want everybody to kind of get along kind of thing, you know, and... That's that's one thing. Once once you bring in like weed, marijuana into it, and you turn that into like a character trait, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. Um, I've wanted to play the like a druid who just hates everything that is like not an animal, you know. Um, so like, you know, the druid goes to the to the inn and is like, "Hey, where's your stables? <laughs> you know, I'll go sleep with the horses, because I don't want to be near you, freaks." And uh, you know, where's like. Uh, just, just, just like super, not not like a vegan mocking kind of thing, um, but super like uh, pro animal, anti human kind of uh, character, and uh, I think I think that could be kind of fun as well. I wanted to play the the dumb barbarian. I have played a barbarian before, but she wasn't dumb. She was fairly wise, in fact. Um, but I wanted to play the dumb barbarian, like stereotype, you know. That's that that can be fun too. You know, like um, not being able to like make uh, trades or whatever, and and like uh, barter and all of that sounds like fun. Or you know, bartering in the wrong direction, not being able to count, or being just just absolutely stupid and and just 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 a good old barbarian, and you just beat stuff up. You know, that's that's your one solution to every problem. Just just beating stuff up. I wanted to play that as well. I have played a barbarian again, but uh not a uh not a dumb one. I played a weak one. She had eight strength, but she found a belt that gave her like a bunch of strength was her backstory. She found like a frost giant belt or whatever, so she had twenty strength. If anybody ever like cancelled out that magic or took away the belt, she was useless. <laughs> um anyway. That's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.